a phone call and Sam Kusulo prepares to pick up a patient. He offers emergency evacuations in the villages along the slopes of Martin Elgon in eastern Uganda. I'm always stationed here, waiting. I can easily pick up patients from around and those that need to be taken to the main hospital. The only way we can take them is on the bike ambulance. Communities like these are far away from healthcare centers. The mountainous terrain makes the journey even more difficult. But the bikers do their best to reach all corners of the region. I suffered some complications when I was pregnant with a second child. But a bike picked me, brought me here, and took me to the main hospital. He saved my life. While the motorbike ambulances here have helped reduce the number of pregnancy-related deaths, health workers say still more needs to be done. This health center caters for more than 400 patients a week. Some of them arrive via motorbike ambulances. While the bike is helpful, administrators say a van would be better for emergency referrals. They also point out motorbikes can't be used during the rainy season. This motorcycle has made our work easy. And really we've promoted our, the health for the community. Can I advocate for another ambulance so that when the other one has broken down, there is another one in standby. Across Uganda, many people die because they do not get to clinics or hospitals in time. This emergency bike gives villagers in Bushi the comfort of knowing that when they need it, they can access help quickly. Leon Sanyange, CCTV, Bushi Village, Eastern Uganda.